you could show with either Well, they would know it But most places, hemp's not legal And that's cruel Children are starving every day When right here that is a dirt A land that could grow hemp No chemicals, no poisons Be the hungry, clothe the poor Let's embrace this new horizon Children are starving every day take you back to a story that was told many times by my grandmother. She was, she was sent when she was six years old to Arm Prior to be with the McLaughlin Millionaires. And she spent several years in South America with the McLaughlins. And she talked about a place there where they cured TB. Because when I grew up, TB was still, they started testing the schools in 1938. Mm. 
a lot of people had TB here in this area, and especially French Canadians and Indians, okay? And I can remember now grandmother talking about where they lived in South America. There was some kind of a, of a, well, like a, a religious home run by priests. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that they did, what, that they used, was the hemp seed. Mm -hmm. And that was like fermented into a milk. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it, it had to, it, it was put in like almost like into a vacuum. Mm -hmm. She said sealed off until the, the and water put in and, and then you had to drink this milk. Okay, but it was so strong that you had to suck it with a straw. Mm -hmm. Then the pulp of that was taken out, that was dried like a cereal, mm -hmm. and you ate that for bulk, yeah. and that cured TB. And I can remember because Henry Getz, 1939, he was a school teacher. He was first cousin of my dad's, and he was diagnosed with TB. Mm -hmm. And I can remember grandma talking to my dad about it if they could get this cure Henry wouldn't have to go to a sanitarium mm -hmm. for a couple of years and my grandmother talked about that all the time mm 